Hey, what's up guys? So I want to talk today about the Lumix S1. I don't know why I keep calling it that. It's the Panasonic S1. I picked this up after I broke my A7S Mark II. I'm currently shooting on the A7 III. Um, and yeah, I needed a body last minute. I saw this really good deal, 1600 pounds with a Sigma adapter with an extra battery. So I was thinking about the S1H, but it wasn't quite out yet and I needed a body right then. So I ended up getting this. And one of the major things I wanted the S1H for was the dual ISO capability because I shoot a lot of travel and wildlife conservation films. And so for that, I need a really low ISO. So I don't have to use too many NDs all the time. But then when I come back home and I'm shooting in London, I do a lot of stuff in basically pitch black locations. So yeah, the dual ISO on the S1H was like something that I was like, wow, that's gonna be really, really handy for me. But to my surprise, or at least I think I've got this right, I could be wrong. And there's definitely something going on here that which to me makes me think it's got the same sensor as the S1H. Let's check it out. So here we are, body cap on. And now the peaking is gonna pick up on the noise in the image because it's a sharp edge. And so it's gonna think that the noise is in focus and make it bright red. Go to 800, looks pretty clean. 1000, pretty clean. 1250, you can start to see the noise coming in. More noise, 2500, looks way more noise than you'd hope. Compared to my A7S at 1600, it was clean as a whistle. Um, 3200, I mean, I would have shot that loads on my A7S. This looks horrific. And then, Oh, 4,000 is clean as a whistle. And it still then doesn't get anywhere near as bad as 3,200 until you start hitting about 12,800 again. And then it goes all the way up to 5,000 or 51,000, which looks horrific again. But here we go, 6,4 clean, 5,000 clean, 4. 4,000 super, super clean. 3,200 is an absolute state. <laughs> and then we go back down, 640 clean, 500 clean. It's clean all the way to the bottom. So there we have it. That's very strange and very good news if you're an F1 owner. Not great news if you've paid about three times more than I paid for this to get the S1H. Um, but obviously, hopefully you're gonna get more use out of all the other features, but for me, that's pretty great, but my big, big thing would be do not shoot auto ISO on this camera. Imagine if you're in a shot and it flicks between that 3,200 to 4,000. It's just gonna be like, what the hell's going on? It's gonna be like noise, not noise, noise, not noise. So yeah, I would say shoot at 4,000 whenever you can. So unless I'm completely mistaken, unless I've got this completely wrong, which hopefully I haven't, I'm happy to put my hands up and be like, yeah, I'm a moron. So give me a comment below if I am completely wrong. Um, but yeah, that is the video on the Panasonic S1 having dual ISO. Um, I hope this is useful for you. There's a little issue I've had to this camera about blue banding or like solid blocks of blue color from coming from certain LEDs. So I'm gonna do another video about that. And it has really destroyed some footage I've got from events. But yeah, I'll talk more about that in the other video. And yeah, make sure you hit subscribe, hit the like button if this has been useful. If this has helped you decide between the S1 or the S1H, and uh, I'll see you next time.